What is up everybody? Okay, it's Goomer22. We're doing uh, an interesting video this time. Let me move this up. Um, so it is approximately one hour before my singles match and I haven't uh, really had time to look at the matchup this week. Um, so I literally have not looked up at the matchup and I will have to get my team in game before then and uh, get this uh, get this going. So I am going to spend 10 minutes, 10 minutes, I'm going to start a timer here actually, on my phone here. I'm going to do a 10 minute prep and we are just going to see what we get. And we're going to play with it. So I will sh go through that process. If you don't want to watch this, you can skip ahead to the video. I'll put timestamps in there. Um, okay, here's the timer. Okay, so here's what I normally do. So I normally go to the GDL doc. Okay, we're facing B-wares. And I copy in this thing. Go to my draft teams matchup. Let's paste this in. Okay. So let's look at what he's got. So Kiram, Grim I normally like to start with like my tier one, Cartana. Okay, what does Cartana just roast? Uh, it roasts Kiram and Grimmsnarl. Um, it does well against Sandaconda. Um, it can do pretty well against Beware, I guess. Weezing's kind of annoying. Shuckle, too. Chandelor roasts it. Starmie is faster, so that's not good. Doug Trio Lola is faster as well, so that's not good for Cartana. But we're going to see. Okay, Cartana, Beast Boost. We definitely want Leaf Blade. We definitely want a Smart Strike for... Well, I guess Smart Strike's really only good for... Well, it's good for Grimmsnarl. So we want Smart Strike. We want Leaf Blade. Um, Zapdos does well against it, too. We could do, like, um, what other moves do we need? Okay, we could, knock off is always good, right? We can protect to scout for moves. We can do Sacred Sword stuff for super effective against Beware. We can do Sword Sand, Synthesis, Tailwind. Tailwind is interesting. Good speed control. Um, I'm trying to think. So we can spend, like, two minutes per mon, basically. It's already been a minute and a half. Um, we can't use guillotine in this. Let's see. Um, and is he going to set up any sort of rocks with, like, shuckle or something? Um, I feel like choice banding. I don't know if I necessarily want to ban this time. Knockoff's good for Chandelure. I guess let's just go knockoff. That's pretty safe. What item do we do? Um, I guess we can protect. Um... We could sub, too. Sub could be interesting. Let's go sub, and let's go get rid of level 50. I just like to see stuff at level 50, because that's what we play at. So we're at level 50. Um, what item do we want? If we go Focus Sash, then we can die, which is bad. Um, but we, we, do have, we also have Substitutes, so Focus Sash doesn't really make sense. Um... We can, we can do Choice Scarf. We can do Aka Berry. We, do, we could just go straight AV. I mean, AV it really isn't bad. Weezing can obviously have Flamethrower. That's annoying. It's a good switch in here. We could also go... No, we can go Choice Band. We could go Life Orb. Hmm. We could go Life Orb so we can switch up our item. Um. Okay, it's... Oh, jeez. What? It was just a minute and a half. All right, let's go... Let's just go... Oh, I can't go Assault Bus because we have that. Let's go Life Orb. Let's go Life Orb Cart. Let's go, um, let's go, like, super offensive. What's his speed tiers? I think Zapdos is, like, 100. So let's go Jolly. And at 100, I think you get to, like, 165 or something like that. Let's do, let's do that. I think that's right. Urchifu gets to 163. I don't know. Let's just go 170 just to be safe. All right. So that's Kartana. What else do we got? We've got, okay, we have not done much. Okay, so we've got cart for you, cart for you, cart for you, um, and I guess cart can maybe do you. All right, so we need Zapdos answer. We've got, um, he's got wheezing, which is, if he doesn't neutralize in gas, it actually helps Regigigas, which is kind of funny. Um, 
And let's see, maybe we want to just do an annoying Regigigas set. Um, who else looks good here? So Kyurem can throw off dragon moves. Maybe we go... Um, honestly, I kind of like Assault Best Hatterene here. Um, and let's, sure, let's go Magic Band. So let's go Assault Best. Uh, let's go, I think Dazzling Gleam is my best move. Um, we can go Draining Kiss, sure, Giga Drain for the Starmie, which we can still kind of handle. Um, the Weezing, and the Weezing we can go Psychic, I guess. Psy Shock, no, we want Psychic, yeah. We could also do Future Sight, which is interesting. Let's go Modest. Uh, does he have any Trick Room mods? I guess he has Shuckle, which underspeeds anyways, so Modest is fine. Um, I kind of like this. Do we want Drain Kiss, actually? Drain Kiss, I don't know how much that actually helps. Maybe we do Nuzzle to be annoying, just in case. But Giga Drain's fun. Um, and let's put one more in defense, I guess. Okay. Oh, we got to do nicknames, too. God, we're already at f five minutes. Paper Mario. We've got Hatterene, we've got Peach. Uh, oh, we gotta go Shiny. Okay, next team, next up. Okay, so Peach can maybe handle you. Peach can handle you. Why am I putting Peach in that hat? Uh, the Chandelure is still a problem, I guess. And so is the Dugtrio Lola. But uh, Kingdra can handle both of them, right? Kingdra? Shiny, yes. Spyro. Um, we literally have four minutes. One minute per, per, per mon. Okay. So, Swift Swim. Do we go Sniper? Do we just go Crit Kingdra? Does he have anything for Kingdra? He does have Kyurem. What's Kyurem's speed? I have no idea. Kyurem. Um, Sierra B. Alright. Kyurem, what you got? What you got? What you got? Kyurem's speed is... 95, that outspeeds Kingdra. Um, good specialty, good HP. Gosh dang, that sucks. Um, maybe we don't use Kingdra for that though. Maybe we, do we go Sniper? Sniper plus Dragon Dance? And Focus Energy? Double like setup Kingdra? Maybe? I guess Grim is really good against Kingdra too, which is annoying. Hmm, that sucks. Like Choice Scarf King is, is really good too, though. Oh gosh, we, we're our minutes up. All right, let's go. Choice Scarf. Um, I guess we'll go Sniper because why not? Uh, and we'll go Flip Turn. Um, Muddy Water or Surf. Chandelure, I guess Surf. Um, we don't need that much speed. Jeez, let's go to level 50. How do we change level 50? Oh, yeah, here. Okay. All right, all right. We don't need that much speed. We can go modest. We need, like, to outspeed Starmie, which is, like, 115. I think we need, like, about... Let's see. One, that'll get us to 195. If we're at 130, that should be enough. Let's put some HP in there. Actually, we'll do... we got to go 8 less, and we'll do the defenses. That's always better. Flip turn surf, um, Draco meteor always. And do we need anything else? Flip turn surf Draco meteor, something that hit the Starmie. No, I guess we'll just do Draco meteor. Maybe breaking swipe. No, that wouldn't make sense. What would we do? Muddy water hydro pump maybe for extra damage. I guess hydro pump. Um. And then we need like a setup mod or something. Regigigas could be annoying. He's got Beware. And we have good, I guess we have a good, decent switch into Beware. Um, sure, let's go Regigigas. And let's just be annoying. Let's go like a Thunder Wave set. Um, you know, we can start paralyzing stuff. That'll be annoying. Speed control. Uh, this is Womp King. Um, 
Thunder Wave, Protect. Let's go lefties. Um, Thunder Wave, Protect. Drain Punch could be kind of strong. Um, let's see. Um, nature, nature, nature. Did I do a nature on these? Modest, modest. Jolly. Um, okay. Oh, God, we have nine and a half minutes. We're toast. All right. Let's go attack. Let's go speed. Um, do we want to go jolly? I guess an out speed. Do we want do we want attack? Or do we just want straight HP? And go with the uh I guess we can be annoying with Thunder Waves. Do we just go like a super annoying set? And go max defenses? Maybe we do that. Just forget the speed. Max defense or special defense? Let's go let's go max special defense, why not? Now let's go some defense. Thunder Wave Protect. Okay, what annoying move. We can do Body Slam and Paralyze stuff too. Or Darkest Lariat. Or Fire Punch and... Well, we can't... Well, we already burned stuff. We can do Knock Off, I guess. Um, and Toxic. No, we don't want a Toxic, do we? Toxic Confuse Ray, maybe? Wait, then we can't do that. Maybe. Um... Hmm... Safeguard, Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb can give us more speed as well. Um, Nature Power. Gravity. Maybe we go Confuse Ray. It'd just be super annoying. But then we can't even, like, do much. I guess we can go Power Up Punch. And... Well, we could go Drain Punch and Heal. Or we can go, uh... Um, go knock off. He does have Chandelure, though. Okay, I guess let's go knock off with power up punch. And then we'll go. We're already at time. We're at 11 minutes. All right, we need to throw in two more mods. Um, let's see. Uh,. We could get there on Dusclops, Surf Fetched. He's got Zapdos. Obviously, Zapdos is going to be annoying. Cryogonal, I feel like, isn't bad here, is it? Is Cryogonal bad? We need. Um, Cryogonal is interesting. Let's do a super. Let's do a super stally Cryogonal as well. You know what? Why not? Or freeze. Do we need freeze eyes? Does he have a water move? He does have Starmie. Yeah, sure. Let's go freeze dry. Iron defense, recover, freeze dry. Actually, let's do acid armor because it's cooler. Um, let's see. Item. Okay, 105. We want to outspeed. Um, let's go jolly. No, no. Timid, timid. What am, I, what am I doing? What am I doing? And we'll go max special defense. Or do we go max HP? We'll do some HP, some special defense. Freeze dry. Defog. Um, knockoff. Light screen. Rapid spin. Maybe rapid spin. No. Well, that would be interesting. Um, let's see. Flash cannon. Can anything ice not hit very well? Shuckle and Chandelure. I guess Water Pulse. Well, if we get rid of the Chandelure, we're fine. Magic Coat, Knock Off. Knock Off could be annoying, actually. Triple Axle, Toxic. All right, let's just go Knock Off, I guess. And we'll go Aka. Maybe? No. The fighting moves could be annoying too, actually. Chopple. Let's go Chopple. Why not? And last mon. Jeez, we're already this is a okay, this is a fifteen minute prep. Fifteen minute prep. We'll uh we'll we'll qualify that. 
Is Moltres good? Moltres actually doesn't. I feel like Moltres doesn't. I mean, it does do good against the Chandelure. Doug Trio does decent, but like, Moltres doesn't look super great with this. Although it is just a good mod. Thunderous could be. Thunderous could be really good. Um. Yeah, I feel like I kind of like Thunderous here, except for the Kiram. Do we have a switch into Freeze Drive? Oh, yeah, we have Krogan. Um. Man, this is going to be tough. Uh, Cryogonal, Colossal. I feel like we do go Thunderous. Let's try um, Thunderous with Prankster. Let's go. Do we do that sneaky Gert set with Bulk Up and Rest? We, oh, we can outspeed Kirim, which is cool. Yeah, let's do, let's do Bulk Up and Superpower. For sure. Bulk up superpower. Um, what other physical moves do we get? Brick break, crunch. Yeah, foul play. Knockoff. I mean, we could do crunch for the shandy. For sure. But who's this, Who's probably switching? Uh, he probably switches in Santa Conda. Which is kind of annoying. Fling. Fly. Uh, wow. I mean, I guess... Crunch is fine. And U-turn? Superpower hits a ton here. Um not we don't want to fly. We could do SmackDown, I suppose. Uh this is weird. I don't really know what to run. Iron Tail? I guess we hit the Zapdos with a crunch. We'll go lefties on as well. I guess we could go protect. Or another move. All we might need is superpower crunch. We could go. Let's go max HP. Jolly. With. Alright, we're at 16 minutes. We're way over. This is impossible to do a 10 minute prep, legitimately. Um, I like bulk up. Oh, I guess do we go rest? We could go rest and chesto berry. Sure. Resto the chesto. Let's do it. We get destroyed by Kiram, potentially. But let's try it. Resto the chesto, and that's our team. All right. Oh, wait. Lacky toe. We got to make sure the nicknames are right. Lacky toe. Shiny yes, Cryogonal is Andros, shiny yes. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, I like it. Let's do it. Yo, what up? It's Goomer22, we're here in the battle. All right, so, um, Honestly, Lakito looks like really good here. Um, I'm also tempted just to lead Paper Mario. Honestly, like just, what if we just go for it, you know? Um, Cause who do we not, who do we really not want to see? Um, could lead Peach too. Spyro's not bad. Could lead Andros. Or just lead the Womp King because he doesn't have Zapdos. So we can literally just get a paralysis on anything. If he starts going bulk up Grimmsnarl, that could be annoying. But then, like, um, I guess we didn't bring Sacred Sword. Um, I'm willing to risk it though. He does have Drain Punch, doesn't he? Do I risk the Womp King? I think we're gonna, you know what, let's just go with the Womp King, just start spreading para. I guess we can't para the Doug Trio, so that's kind of annoying. I don't know, we're going for it. I feel like spreading the paras earlier is better than later, obviously, because like, you know, if I want to switch something in, I want to outspeed it, and I can like maybe learn if he's Scarf. We can just spread, uh, we can start knockoffing too, I guess. If he is like leftovers grim. Smogmog. Ooh. I know about Smogmog. 
He could do uh, Will O Wisp, obviously. Oh, he's not neutralizing gas. Come on. He could Toxic. Which would be kind of annoying. Oh, I didn't bring it. Uh, I guess he, he has Toxic and then he can. What if I go Peach, though? I guess he could Sludge Bomb. I can see what he's going for. Or I could just get the pair off. I guess let's just get the pair off. It's tough because if he toxics, okay, he just sludge waves. Don't pair it, or don't poison, don't poison. He crits me. Okay, he doesn't get the poison though. Let me get the para. Okay, 100% of the time, yeah, we're lefties and we have slow start. So like 100% of the time we just, Protect, right? He could get a free switch here. Toxic. Okay. So the question is, is he gonna sl is he gonna make a read? Cause we can cause we can go into Paper Mario, but then he can have a flamethrower or something like that. But if we go into like, like what does what wants to get toxic? Because we can go into Peach too. I guess we can knock off Hope for a para. Oh, we got the para. We got the para. That's huge. What's our slow start at? Oh, we don't know. Why doesn't it tell you? It should tell you, tell you what you're at. Um, I guess I'll power up punch. Another para. He does get the toxic off. So I definitely could have swapped to uh, somebody there. Which is annoying. But like, Toxic will take a little bit to get going. Right? So what does he have now? We can just do another power-up punch, I guess. Right? And then like, then we look pretty good, I feel like. We'll be plus two. We'll have our slow start gone. I guess we have to get rid of the smog mug though with knockoff, and that'll take a while, and then the toxics will be annoying. So that is actually annoying, letting him get the toxic. I should have made a read. Sludge wave. But if I get him in range of Kartana and Kartana get the beast boost, that could be interesting. So plus two knockoff. I wonder how that set does. Smog mog. But like if we switch now, we would reset some poison. That's yeah, I guess that's weird that we're gonna switch when we're like doing this well. But we could get a substitute off with Paper Mario. I guess maybe we do one more attack and then switch. Cause then, yeah, I think we do one more attack. Cause then I think, oh, is he going for protect? So he's got toxic, sludge wave protect. He probably has flamethrower. But we can obviously see what he goes for here. Let's go into Paper Mario. We're just gonna make a read here. Goes for Protect. That's fine. Let's get a sub up. And then we go for Smart Strike maybe? I don't even know if Smart Strike KOs.
But we can at least scout for the flamethrower. Yeah. So now what we do... Okay, here's what we do, maybe. Here's what we do, maybe. We were hoping for a para there, but... If we go into... Oh, wait, we can rest. Wait a second. Yeah, what if we just start bulking up, go for crunches, and then rest? The question is, how much does Sludge Wave do? Because that could be a play. That could totally be a play. How much does Flamethrower from Wheezing do? And Sludge Wave will actually kind of hurt. I guess we could have gone freely into Kingdra. It doesn't do that much. I guess let's bulk up. I don't know, this is risky. Stupid wheezing. I feel like I should have just gone to... Oh, he withdraws. Cure him. Is he Scarf? That's the question. Is he Scarf right now? If he is, that's honestly really good information. Let's just go for the superpower. I don't even know if plus one KOs, because we don't have any attack investment. Oh, it might. It is plus one. He is Scarf. Man. That's annoying. We just we just lost Lakito, which looked really good here. Does a Scarf freeze dry knock out a Paper Mario is the question. We don't have... This is annoying. Oh, well, we can Thunder Wave, I guess. He's scarfing a freeze dry, actually. So maybe Peach looks good here. Because, like, who does he want to switch into? Right? So... A Lolan Doug Trio takes it pretty well. If I go for a Dazzling Gleam. If I go for a Psychic... That, like... I guess Weezing would take it well, too. I'm just gonna go for a Psychic because... I guess a Nuzzle would have been decent. Uh, the problem is if two Freeze Dries take us out. No, if two Freeze Dries definitely don't take us out. We're AV. But I want to go for the Psychic just to... Um, just because I feel like there's no way he goes into Grim here. Yeah, he went in the smog mog. That's fine. So, okay, we get rid of smog mog. So, we trade Lakito for smog mog, and we have a toxic. Oh, man. That's tough. That's not a good trade, honestly. Smog mog did some work. Digdry. I don't see what's wrong with going Spyro here. Or Paper Mario. Well, no, no, there is a problem with going Paper Mario. We could also pivot through th through the Thwomp King, although we can't paralyze. So I feel like Spyro is kind of safe, but maybe he knows that. I don't, but he doesn't get anything that, like, hits Spyro super well. I guess he can just double EQ. That does good damage. Crit. Is he Scarf Dugtrio as well, though? You know what I mean? So we could flip turn, we could surf, we could hydro pump. But if we surf, then he goes for a freeze drive. I guess we go to Cryogonal then. 
He could be Sash. Ah, oh, he is Sash. Does EQ take... Oh, Stealth Rocks. That's actually fine. I don't mind that at all. But he knows I'm Scarfed. I mean, something takes a Surf. Thing about it is, he, I feel like he can't risk scarfing into a dragon move because I could just go into Hatterene. But he can definitely risk uh, scarfing into freeze dry. But if he scarfs into freeze dry, then I get a free recover off. And I'm at least getting damage off on the Kirim. I thought about just reading the swap there, which. I could have done, but it's damage. So he 100% freeze dries here, right? If he makes a read in like fire blasts or something, I don't know what Kiram gets, but if he makes a read and does that, then good for him. Flash cannon, what a read. Oh, wait a second. So we can bring Andros in again. But he's scarfed into flash cannon, so can't we just go back to Spyro and then Draco Meteor? And we, if we bring Andros in again and we're faster, we can recover. Or do we go Paper Mario? Well, the question is... Mario can maybe take out Grim. Yeah, like, where's the damage coming from now? Because now... Oh, but he can go into Grim. Right. But... But we're Scarfed. So we can Hydro Pump. Um, or we can Flip Turn. This sucks, honestly. We need to Paralyze. We need to, you know what? We should have we gone to Womp King and, like, knocked off, maybe. I guess we can come back into Spyro later if we flip turn. Grim, okay. But like, what, nothing wants to take a Dazzling Gleam now. I feel like Hatterene looks really good. Yeah, nothing wants to take a Dazzle. Um, going into, and he can't Thunder Wave is the cool thing too, because going into, uh, if we went into Paper Mario, we, we would have risked, okay. So he's got leftovers. I feel like we just go for the Dazzling Gleam, or do we go for the Nuzzle? No, we don't go for the Nuzzle. I mean, Dazzling Gleam just smacks, right? But we need to get some form of paralysis on the Kirim to... Because if Hatterene goes down, we lose our answer to... Uh, um, we lose our, our switch into Kirim for a dragon move, because he can just dragon move everything then. Shadow Claw. Ouchie Wawa. Okay, that KOs though. So now, 
he can freely bring in he can freely bring in the Doug Trio, right? Is it worth it to save Hatterene just so that he can't go for dragon moves? Hmm. Interesting. Um, oh, because we don't have a great answer for Beware after this, I feel like. Yeah. I guess we just go for the Dazzling Gleam. Shadow Claw. Um, yeah, because he can probably smack us with a close combat. I'm trying to think. So we can knock off for sure. We can recover. That doesn't do much, though. I mean, we do have Chapelberry. If he goes for close combat, do we, if we recover, do we, no, we wait half health. Do we just go, we have to save Spyro. We have to save Spyro. But then Womp King, we need Parazon as well. I feel like we're just t absolute toast here. If we get a freeze with a freeze dry, that might be our out. Um, we can obviously substitute. I don't know how much that helps. You can go for drain punches. I could go for a leaf blade. But then if he gets ahead and can just freeze dry, he just freeze drives my entire team and just wins, I think. But now he doesn't have a fairy switch in, so we can drag in everything we want. I feel like we go Paper Mario, maybe? This might be a throw. If we got a crit Leaf Blade, do we KO? He probably thinks we're going for Sacred Sword. I guess we'll go for the crit Leaf Blade. Oh, we could have knocked off. Cryogonal, he this is his only slow Pokemon too. This is the only one that Cryogonal can actually get a recover off on. So maybe I should have gone Cryogonal, because Cryogonal is kind of useless otherwise, because it's slower than the rest of his mons. I feel like the toxic on Regigigas really screwed with me. I feel like he's. I feel like he might feel like he's free to swap. Oh, that does absolutely nothing. Beware! Oh, beware is fluffy. But hold on. Okay, his leftovers. Does a freeze dry KO? Cause this is the only this is the only one we can get a recover off on two health we can only get a recover off here this might be really dumb but like i feel like this is our way out i don't know i don't know what else we do does he go into kiram and then can we recover stall him Please swap. Kiram can take a freeze dry well. I think he, uh, I think he goes into Kiram, right? Nah, but he doesn't want a scarf and a freeze dry. This is probably just idiotic.
We probably... Oh, we 100% died of this, right? Oh, he puts up a sub. Well, what if we get an acid armor off? Does he have power-up punch? If we get a double... Okay. But acid armor is really only helpful for Beware, right? Like, what's our defense stat? Okay, we have 172 HP. Our defense is 70, so we'll be at 140. Which is decent. But if he has, like, power-up punch, he can just power up, keep power-up punching, right? And then it would get rid of my... Acid armor and recover are effectively the same thing. Hmm... We can't freeze to the substitute, can we, either? I feel like we just go for the acid armor. I don't see what else I do. He's got close combat, we know that. How much is this? This probably does work. And it still KOs with acid armor. I should've just gone for the freeze dryer right off the bat. Yeah, now I lose. Oh, that was silly, because I, I could have got a freeze, I guess. 10% freeze chance was probably my way out there. But I, that was the only Pokemon I could get a recover off on. Actually, I could have, you know what? 10% freeze chance that doesn't kill him, and then recover, and that was my way out. Um, so I think I lose here. I think I lose here. But can I get a KO? Probably not. Man. I guess I could have had her pumped. That's what the 15 minute prep will do to you, I guess. Yeah, that initial... Letting Regigigas take that Toxic hurt bad. I should have made a read and swapped. And the Scarf Kiram thing. I could have swapped to Cryogonolic pretty freely with with Kiram. That was really silly to let um to let Lakito go down like that. thinking about it. I think he just close combats and wins. Yeah, Beaver is pretty strong. I forgot about Fluffy. His player time is uh, 1.7. What if we could get him on player time to like somehow mess up? And like lose. What if we Thunder Wave? Uh, maybe we protect. If he somehow wastes his whole player time thinking about whether he's gonna like substitute or. If he substitutes, that's like GG, right? What if I made him somehow lose on player time? That would be hilarious. But I'm going to take my whole time in case he was somehow, for some reason, taking his whole time.
Now I gotta hope he went for the close combat. Okay. Now how much player time does he have? So how much was he thinking about that move? Oh, he thought about that for like tense, like 15 seconds. All right, I'll go for the Thunder Wave. The Beware, the mascot, getting the KOs. Props, props to the Bewares there. Using their mascot effectively. I shouldn't have risked the Scarf Karam. That was really silly on my part. I really like that set too. Oh man. Oh well. Good stuff.